What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're talking about how Halloween ends in this video here again today. So we'll be talking about the idea of just having a less is more approach as it pertains to Michael Myers and the screen time the shape has on Halloween or in Halloween ends coming out later this October. So we know that Michael Myers will be back. We know that we will have the shape doing its thing and the way this movie has been so secretive, it allows us to kind of think about what are the possibilities out there. Whereas last time with Kills, the script was leaked. We pretty much gathered up all the plot points about it. And we knew what the movie was going to kind of be about without having all the appropriate context prior to watching it. Whereas this one, there's a little bit more excitement around it. There's a little bit more mystery and wonder since everything's been kept under secret a lot better. So... When it pertains to this character of Michael Myers, I know the biggest thing I've seen people say that they need to go back to is having him stalk a little bit more, having us spend time with the characters, but also having Michael stalk them, have us see him stalk them, putting it in the uh, the killer's POV so we can see him looking at them, hear that heavy breathing that we know we heard throughout the 1978 original movie, and just try to bring that back in some degree or in some fashion for the final iteration of this timeline which is still of course associated as a sequel to the 78 film so i think you could make that work you would have to again go into a set of characters who people can grow invested in grow attached to but at the same time we already know that some of these people aren't going to make it out because sooner or later the shape is going to strike you would have to work with that by first i guess having a longer period of daytime on halloween because we know Michael's going to come out on Halloween night, I would hope. He could stalk during the day. We could see him stalk during the day. We don't necessarily get to see him in in like, uh, we don't get to see him head to toe per se until Halloween night. Because what you could also do is while you're having it from his POV, you could probably play with your audience a bit there. Have some people doubting, is that actually Michael Myers? Because there might be a understanding in the town that Michael is dead. There might be some type of understanding in Haddonfield where they think Michael is dead because we don't know really yet where he's been for these past four years. But let's say that the sentiment in the town is that Michael Michael died after the events of Halloween Kills. He went somewhere and he just died. And if he didn't die that night, he's going to die eventually because he doesn't eat anything. <laughs> That's their assumption. Someone in the town of Haddonfield will be under the belief that he died. And then maybe some other people will think that he died. And for rational reasons, because, again, you're out here for four years what have you been living off of they're gonna someone is just gonna rationalize that to say the shape is dead so then this so then when you have us not seeing him till halloween night but we see these pov shots of someone who we can only assume is the shape you might be planting seeds of doubt into some audience members heads is this really michael or is this a michael myers copycat now they wouldn't go a friday the 13th part five here i'm not saying they'll do that but it would be michael myers but having that having that uh seed planted of doubt would make the the full reveal of the character being back even much better how do you confirm that if you're tr if you're trying to tease that there's a copycat out there well for one the missing fingers show off show off those missing fingers that got blown off from the halloween 2018 show off some other things that are resembling of the damage he sustained in halloween kills and that'll put the copycat idea to bed because maybe when this mayhem starts breaking out in haddonfield again there could be this idea that it's just a copycat michael's not back he he died but then of course it'll be it'll be set into their minds and of course our minds are like that michael is not dead he did survive for those four years wherever he was and he is back for more the less is more approach i think would just make the mystique of the character that much better this time around even though we've got countless movies where we've seen him up close and personal we've seen him on screen so many times we've seen these quote-unquote blackest eyes not appear black on many occasions uh by seeing his eye sockets in some of the movies like h2o for instance and resurrection i believe too in like one shot where he turns around and then, ugh. but i think the less is more approach could work having him show up a little bit less on screen 
you're making it obvious that he's there but you're also playing with us to doubt that is this really michael or is it a copycat only to then confirm later on that yes it is michael he is back in haddonfield he's the one doing these kills and i think it'd also be cool if they shot some of the kills for, again from his pov so we can hear that breathing associate that breathing with michael but then have that doubt in our head because of these characters in town who are going who are doing a great job at selling us on the fact that there's no way he could have survived for those four years of course you still would know that it's true but there could be an argument that's being put out there that's so strong from the Haddonfield residents that you yourself start to doubt am I really watching Michael Myers come back to Haddonfield or is this just a elaborate copycat who's been inspired by what he's been doing over the course of these 40 years in this town and what he's known to do on Halloween night and of course that would mean just spending more time with characters having better character development which ultimately would make some of their deaths a lot more emotionally uh invested for you as the viewer you could do again some cool pov kills where we're seeing the kills from michael's perspective we're not necessarily seeing a frame where michael's in the frame and so hit so is his target it could be just framed in a way from his eyes where we're seeing the face of fear on the victims we're basically michael in this instance and he's doing some killing i think a few kills done in his pov would be a cool callback to the original um and just to the opening in general when he killed his killed his sister but now you have some more cool unique kill sequences and he can still kill them in, in plenty of clever ways i just think putting the audience back into the killer's point of view will be something that would make halloween ends a memorable experience for a lot of people you can still have the kills where of course he's sharing the frame with his victims but having some kills that that are going back to what he did to his own sister i think would be a cool thing to see the less is more approach would be nice it allows for more character development it doesn't allow michael to feel it allows michael to feel like his comeback is something that you've been dying to see because he'll be lurking in the shadows throughout the day you'll see glimpses of this but you're not going to see him full head to toe until that halloween night where he really starts to pick up the action and the bloodshed that he's already been causing in the town during that halloween day but that's just what i'm thinking about as far as like the screen time michael has i think less would be better let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video